everybody, welcome back to Talking Walls for a brand new Transfer Rumours update video. I hope you're all doing well. My name is David and as always I'm going to be taking you through the latest transfer news and my thoughts on what is going on in and around Molyneux Stadium. Uh, as always, make sure you hit the like button down below, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, the number one place to get all your transfer news this summer for Wolves. And obviously I did one of these a couple of days ago and it was pretty quiet on the transfer front. Then all of a sudden, the last few days, it has sort of blown up. Loads of rumours have come forward. Uh, a few inquiries for and well for Wolves players and for players that Wolves are going for as well. But make sure you go and check out our channel partners before we start off today. One Football. Uh, a link to download their app is in the top of the description down below. You can select your favourite teams, get all the news catered to those teams, and you can download uh, or get all the live scores and live football news. Uh, all around the world but today we're going to be kicking off with some of the transfer news firstly we're going to start off with an outgoing player Rafa Mer, obviously a player that Wolves had signed a couple of years ago uh, wanted by uh, Real Madrid at the time as well when Wolves signed him from Valencia he was then loaned out to Las Palmas last season where he did okay but not fantastically in the second division of Spain uh, but now he is wanted by newly promoted side over in Spain uh, Granada or Granada uh, they've recently been promoted to the top division of Spanish football and they're looking for new recruits to bolster out their side and it is said that they are interested in the 21 year old striker Rafa Mer. Uh, it's also said that Rafa Mer is interested into a move I don't think he's good enough for Wolves I wouldn't be surprised that we may be seeing him in the early Early stages of the Europa League, but um, I certainly don't think he's good enough for us throughout the whole of the Premier League season. I've seen a lot of people say, oh yeah, he's doing well in Spain, he, his goal scoring record's not fantastic, especially for the second tier of Spain, which no disrespect, is probably similar level to sort of upper league one, maybe lower championship, so uh, yeah, nothing much to see there. Another big one, which uh, a lot of people are very unhappy about, I suppose, is that uh, Leon have identified Ruben Vinagre as a target for this summer transfer window. They've recently lost Ferland Mendy to Real Madrid, so they've got a little bit of money to spend. Uh, but uh, it, they said that they've made contact with Wolves about potentially signing Vinagre. However, they're looking to have it on a loan deal with a potential option to buy. Um, that was from Ojogo over in Portugal. For me, Wolves have, would be extremely daft to, to let Vinagre go on loan or even... For a fee as well, I think Wolves would demand probably at least 30 million for him. I know it sounds ridiculous for for someone that young, but he's got so much potential. We all know, we can all see it. Uh, I think Wolves would be extremely daft to sell him on. Um, as as I said, a lot of people unhappy with that, but uh, it is what it is. Uh, and you know, we're going to get players that are in demand. But I'd imagine Wolves, unless Leon come in with a very very big offer, I'd imagine will, Wolves will go and reject that. Um, it was said today as well that Wolves have been, uh, well, Wolves are interested in signing the Belgian defender Zeno Van Huysten. Uh, Van Huysten is currently an Inter Milan player. He can play centre back, um, and but he was on loan at Standard Liège over in Belgium last summer. Um, it's said that he's wanted by Liège. They're very close to maybe getting him on a permanent deal, but there's a few things that they need to clear up. Uh, but it is said that Wolves and Southampton are interested and trying to maybe sneak for a late deal for the centre back. Um, again, I mean Van Van Houston, hopefully I've pronounced that right, he's currently injured for for the next couple of months anyway, so he's out for a few months. Um, it is said that Stanley Age are trying their best to sign him. Um, but Inter Milan wants a buyback fee as part of the contract. So uh, whoever whichever club sign him, Inter Milan will want a set price that maybe in the future they'll be able to buy the centre-back back four. So it's clear to see that he's probably got a little bit of potential. Um, but maybe Southampton especially. Southampton have only just bought a standard Liège player. Maybe they're using Walls and Southampton as two triggers to maybe help push the deal along because that did come from a Belgian newspaper as well. Um, speaking about Inter Milan players, Wolves have apparently made an ambitious inquiry as well for the Croatian international Ivan Perisic. Um, Arsenal are, are probably one of the favourites to sign Perisic, but Leicester and Wolves are both have uh, said to have made in, um, ambitious inquiries for the Inter Milan attacker. He's 30 years of age now, mainly a winger, but can play as a striker or an attacking midfield through the centre as well. And it is quoted by 
way the source it came from that they would want 30 to 35 million for Perisic. Now a lot of people weren't too happy with this because of a player of his age. Now if age is the worrying thing here I would write that off straight away. We've got players like Jean Moutinho who was, well he was our player of the season last term at the age of 32. Perisic obviously a couple of years younger. Yes the value is quite a lot for a player of his age. 30 million pounds. But he is up there in that world-class bracket. If Wolves were able to pull this one off, that would be a huge signing. A real um, sign of intent from Wolverhampton Wanderers. So that is one to keep our eye out for. But it's a fresh room that came in the last day or so for Ivan Perisic. Also, Wolves have recently had a, a, an approach rejected by Burnley for England international James Tarkovsky, um, centre-back for Burnley, fantastic player, and I think Wolves do want to bolster their, their defensive options. So why not go for someone homegrown, proven in the Premier League, and Tarkowski, or Tarkovsky, um, is a player that Wolves, according to the Times, have had an inquiry rejected for. Personally, this would be a great signing for Wolves. Uh, a big, big step forward, and a a big member to add to our squad as well, but Burnley have rejected the approach. Unknown how much if Wolves did bid or whether they just inquired, but I think we'd probably end up looking about 25 to 30 million pounds for Tarkowski purely because of the quality of player we're getting and because of the homegrown status of him as well. That always did, does add a little bit of money onto there. Uh, a big one as well regarding Solomon Rondon. Obviously, we've done a few videos on him that Wolves have reportedly been interested in him. But Peter Rourke over at the Football Insider, normally pretty good with football league teams such as West Brom, where Rondon currently is contracted to. He has said that Wolves have pulled out of the race completely to sign the West Brom striker. Of course, Rondon was out on loan at Newcastle last season, did fairly well, decent goal scoring record, uh, but Walls have said that on top of the personal demands and the fee that they're not going to pursue it any more. Uh, Rondon has a £16.5 million release clause, but alongside that you've got the personal demands of the players, so Walls are probably saying to him, you're probably going to be back up or rotation. He was never going to be our number one striker next season. I think everybody knew that as soon as the rumour came about. So he was probably demanding ridiculous money as well. We've seen it before once or twice, similar to uh, Jürgen Lokadia or Lokadia a couple of years ago when Wolves were in the Championship. He wanted silly money and Fosu said, you know what, we'll leave it. And that may well be the case here as well. Quite a high profile one that is that has happened over the last few days. Um, another one from the Football Insider as well. It said Wolves have an interest in Leeds United midfielder Calvin Phillips. Uh, Leeds really don't want to sell the 23-year-old uh, who's really highly rated at Ellen Road as well. When we posted this, a lot of Leeds fans were saying how much they rate him and they're probably not going to let him go for any less than 20, 25, 30 million pounds in their opinion. Um, but Football Insider has put one-on-one -on -one together as well saying that maybe Leeds will use Wolves' interest to fire a swap deal bid for Helder Costa. Um, so that is one that we could keep our eye out for as well. No real news on that Cavalera or Helder Costa interest since then anyway. But plenty of rumours to sink our teeth into. Then I thought I'd do a, a quite a quick update seeing as there was four or five rumours that came up all at once. Especially after I'd only just done that video a few days ago. But guys, let me know your thoughts on any of those transfer rumours down below. Rondon was probably the big one there. Paul uh, Wolves pulling out of that deal. And James Tarkowski Will he be a player that Wolves should be interested in? And would he add quality to our team? Alongside the likes of Ivan Perisic, what a deal that would be as well. Be sure to hit the like button down below, guys. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, and I'll see you all very, very soon.